Hello there! You know, we're all familiar with Star Wars action figures. You know, like the 6-inch Black Series figures and the 3 and 3 quarter inch Vintage Collection. Or maybe even the Retro figures. Well, did you know that there is a new gunslinger in town? Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 188, the new 4-inch Star Wars action figures known as the Epic Hero series. As I stated, a new series of figures can now be found in stores. Uh, maybe I should get a little more specific can now be found in Walmart stores. I did find these originally in a Walmart store, or a few of them anyway, and I took a look online. Target didn't have them, and Amazon did. But then I did a little more searching and discovered these are supposed to be Walmart exclusives. So why uh, Amazon had them, I'm not quite sure, unless Walmart has a section of Amazon that they sell their stuff on. Now, Black Series figures and Vintage Collection figures seem to be, at least in the last few years, seem to be more geared toward collectors. You know, like me and others who also have YouTube videos and thousands of others out there who collect figures. These figures, though, seem to be more designed for the young fans of that galaxy far, far away. Well, these are four inches tall, so slightly taller than the Vintage Collection. They are limited articulation, so in a way, it kind of brings in the uh, old, the retro collection figures. But yet, they look a bit different. And we're going to take a look at that. But before we do, I do have a trivia question to ask you once again. Are you ready? Today's trivia question is this. What type of dog was the inspiration for Chewbacca? According to George Lucas, you may have heard the story that Chewbacca kind of formed in his mind when uh, George's own dog sat in the seat next to him while he was driving his car. But what kind of dog was the inspiration for Chewbacca? I'll have the answer for you later in the video. Now, let's do a little comparison here. I have the Mandalorian figures from the different series together here, and of course, we really don't need to compare this to the Black Series. Two different, totally different figure lines. So let's put that one off to the side. But when we, you know what? It's probably time to get this out of the box so we can compare it decent. When we compare these two figures, we'll notice changes right away. And the first thing that catches your eye is the cards. The Vintage Collection cards are a lot bigger than the Epic Heroes cards. As you can see, when we put them back to back, there's, there's a fair amount more card with the Vintage Collection. Also, you'll notice, keep in mind, these are designed for the young kids. Brightly colored packaging compared to the black that we're used to with the Vintage Collection. The card thickness is about the same. But size-wise and coloring, very different. Also, with the Vintage Collection, we have various figures shown that we know what to go hunt for, right? But the back of the heroes, no such thing. But we do have a slight little description of the character on the back. As far as the figure themselves, when we look them over a little closer, we notice that although the Vintage Collection is probably colored and painted a little more realistically, the Epic Hero series seems to be slightly more colorful. They're again trying to get the attention of the young fan. Now, that compares the vintage to the Epic Hero series, but let's remember this is limited articulation, more like the retro figure. Let's compare these two quick. When we put these side by side, we notice once again that the retro collection it's kind of a darker color, kind of a more grimy, dirty looking type figure. The Epic Hero series figure is brightly colored. 
And like I say, I got a feeling it would be more fun for young kids to play with. They like bright colors, you know. Uh -huh. Bright yellow, bright blue packaging. So that kind of is a really quick comparison between the two. Now, let's get rid of these. And we'll get started looking at these figures a little closer and see which eight figures made this series. Because that's right, there are only eight figures so far in this series. Maybe if they sell well, they'll come up with another wave of these figures. Now, one thing I didn't mention yet, as you know, the vintage collection, some of these figures are up to like $16, $17 a piece now. Getting a bit outrageous, I would say, but people like me still keep buying them. The Retro Series, lower price point. Usually you can pick these up for like $10, $11 regular price. So not too bad. What is the price of the Epic Hero Series figures? Granted, keep in mind, they're a little taller than these guys. About the same amount of articulation, probably. But these are $9.99, except for the figures that have actually more accessories and stuff with it. They're more like $15 a piece. So, like I said, we'll get these out of the way. Let's start taking a look at these. The first one I have here is the Mandalorian. And you've already seen what it kind of looks like when I compared it. But it's kind of nice in that it is colorful. Um, it looks like the articulation comes at the head or the neck. The shoulders and at the hips for the legs to move does come with two accessories. He's got the black, the black saber there and a pistol. And as we notice, the pistol is just a single color, just like in the Retro Series figures. On the back of the card, it says, The Mandalorian is a formidable bounty hunter in an increasingly dangerous galaxy. Yeah, that is true. The galaxy is very dangerous for those who choose to wander it. Let's check out the next figure, shall we? Now, I'm going to save the two bigger figures for last. Those are the other two I picked up at Walmart. This one I picked up at Walmart, and the two bigger figures I picked up. I shouldn't say bigger figures. The expanded figures are the ones I picked up at Walmart. The other five figures I had to go online to find. And surprisingly, Walmart did not have them listed online. So I had to buy them off of Amazon. Well, let's see which one this is. And, you know, I'm a little worried they shipped it in a bubble envelope instead of in a box. So hopefully it's not damaged. I do notice there is a hole in the bag here, which is starting to not look so good. But let's see what we've got. It is Darth Vader. And yes, as you can see, the card is bent up. We've got a curved up here. We've got a curve down here. There's a little bend down here. Thanks again, Amazon. But let's take a look at the figure, shall we? Oh, and when I turn this around and look at it, the bubble is completely damaged. Dag nabbit. Well, looking at the figure, it, it is actually a very nice figure of Darth Vader. It comes with the red lightsaber, so that's about the only accessory that comes with it. On the back of the card, it says, Seduced by the dark side of the Force, Sith Lord Darth Vader led the Emperor's eradication of the Jedi Order. Now, like I said, this is extremely disappointing. And you know what? It's time to open it. This one's all damaged anyway, as far as the box goes. Yes, I'm opening an action figure on my video. That is very rare. Well, let's see what we have here. Let's see how we get them out of here. Huh. Pop them out the front. Maybe. Well, it looks like to get this figure out, we're going to have to take the cape off. And then we can kind of pop the figure out. So let's put the cape back on them. I tell you what, let's leave the cape off for a moment. I want to see what we're out, what kind of articulation we have with this one. Like I said, first of all, the head does turn. 
The arms do raise and lower at the shoulder, but there is no articulation at the elbow, which is kind of what I expected for this figure. The wrist do not turn either. There is no turn at the waist. The waist is stiff. We do have the legs can move at the hip, but there is no movement at the knee and there is no movement at the foot. If you want articulation, the Vintage Collection is still the figure you're looking for. Now, one thing I like about this figure is the, it's a soft plastic back cloak. I don't know, what do you call just the lower portion of this? But it's soft plastic, which means that you can move these legs and it does move along with them. It's also slit at the sides, at least on that one side. Oh yeah, it's on both sides. It is slit a little bit. I don't know if it's supposed to be or not. But anyway, this one happens to have split split sides. And then, like I said, the cape comes off. There is a little button on the back of the cape here that fits into a hole in the back of Darth Vader. So we put that around his neck, push that back in the hole. We now have a complete Darth Vader. And like I said, with his lightsaber, his red lightsaber. Let's see how well that fits into the, into the hand. Of course, his hand is already fitted to hold the lightsaber. And, ooh, it actually holds it very well. Nice tight fit, snaps right into place with it. So there we have it, Darth Vader. Now we know what the articulation is like on these figures. So let's move Darth off to the side and see what the rest of the figures look like. All right. They came in a whole bunch of boxes. I had four box, four bags or boxes that these five figures were shipped in. So instead of putting them all together, they got shipped pretty much separately. And I have a feeling that might be due to the fact that these came from different warehouses. Okay, we have two figures in this particular one. The first is the Stormtrooper. And this looks like the Stormtrooper from the original trilogy. Stormtroopers are elite shock troops, fanatically loyal to the Empire and the Imperial cause. As we look at this figure, we notice it is it is actually a very good looking Stormtrooper. I do like the looks of this. And it comes with a, I guess you could say a large blaster. I don't know, the card looks great. There's a slight bend to the card. A little more on the bottom here than there is on the top, but not bad. One thing I noticed when I was putting the show together, these are not gonna work into here. For one thing, they're too small to fit in here properly. They actually fit all the way in. So I, if I wanted to store them, I could put two of these figures in one deal because there's probably enough room to do it just to keep them nice and neat. Okay, there's the Stormtrooper. So we got someone to work with Darth Vader. And, oh, I got to let you know this. When I went back into Amazon to see if I could maybe get another one or two of these, because I thought it might be kind of fun to have a couple of them, they're sold out. As of today, well, as of a few days ago already, and still today, they are sold out of these Stormtroopers. So you're going to have to check your local Walmart to see if they have any in the store. I did check on the Walmart's website yesterday, and I saw two of the eight action figures listed on the Walmart website. What's going on there? They give them all to the stores or something? Kept nothing for the warehouses? Well, the next one we have here is Luke Skywalker. And this is Luke Skywalker with his backpack and green lightsaber. <clears throat> Looking over this card, a little dinged up here on the bottom again. But, uh, oh, and it's dinged up on the top. So three, all four corners are dinged. But overall, not too bad. At least the bubble's not all banged up. Luke Skywalker rose from humble beginnings to become one of the greatest Jedi the galaxy has ever known. We see that this Luke Skywalker does come with a black glove on his right hand. He has his green lightsaber and a backpack that I would guess you could either put a small Yoda in or Grogu. There again, actually, 
a very nice looking Luke Skywalker. The facial sculpt is actually pretty decent on this one. I'm rather surprised. Yeah, let's get rid of that box. And open another one. This one is bothering me because there seems to be a lot of noise in here. See how my luck continues here with these figures. Well, the only things I see loose are the little cards. We did have a little packing involved with this one. Didn't help at all, though, because once again... Oh, really? All right. We are battling, or we are batting very badly as far as packaging here. Notice the card. Major bend on this one. It is creased all the way, pretty much all the way down. And once again, the bubble is actually lifting from the cardboard. Really, folks? You know, it almost makes me think that I should just not buy stuff from Amazon anymore. This is getting ridiculous. Grogu has chosen to follow the path of his protector, the Mandalorian, and continues to share adventures at his side. As we can see in this banged up card, uh, we've got a nice figure of Grogu. We do have his pram that he likes to travel in, and we have a stand that the pram can sit on to make it look like it's floating off the ground. Well, about the only one that's turned out really good is the Mandalorian, and that one I picked up in the store. Well, we've got three more to look at. And let's see what this one looks like. Well, I have to say, we've got two pieces of packing in this one. But I don't know if that's going to help a whole lot because the figure is upside down in the box. They put the packing on the back of the figure instead of the front of the figure. How's the card look on this one? Better than most. The card's not creased, not warped very badly. I would say that's just a normal amount of warping. We do have one dinged corner on the bottom here, but the other corners look pretty good. This one I find to be much more acceptable as far as a carded figure goes. And this figure, of course, is Ahsoka Tano. Once a Jedi Knight, Ahsoka Tano now forges her own path in the galaxy. The figure here actually looks pretty good again. Considering these are less expensive $10 figures, they're doing a good job with the facial sculpts. We can see that Ahsoka does come with the two white lightsabers. A really nice looking figure. I do like this one. So, out of the five figures that I ordered off of Amazon, two are in reasonable shape. Three, not great. The last two I have to show you, I bought in the store. These are pretty good cards. The first one is Sabine Wren. And as we can see, if you want to call this a deluxe figure, I guess you could. But it comes with the Sabine action figure. It comes with a force shield. Comes with her backpack, a lightsaber, and I guess a wrist rocket from the looks of it. And there again, the figure looks great. It's really a nice figure of Sabine Wren. Sabine Wren is a Mandalorian warrior and graffiti artist with a creative and rebellious spirit. I like this figure. I have to say, this is really well done. I am hoping that they continue this line because these figures actually in some ways look better than the other figures. Granted, limited articulation. But for kids to play with these, I think they're great. The last one to show you is Paz Vizla. And this one is a deluxe figure. This is the heavy of the batch. A descendant of the esteemed House Vizla Brawny warrior Paz Vizla is protected by the strongest Beskar armor. This comes with a nice series of accessories. We've got a big backpack, a rocket launcher, and two versions of rockets to launch. And from the looks of the front there, it does look like these do launch. In fact, it's only one rocket to launch. The other one that looks like flames actually comes out of his wrist rocket. This is a great looking figure. I do like, I like this line. Now that I've seen them all, I do like the figures. I don't like the damaged cards, but I love the figures. 
I'm going to have to keep an eye open at Walmart now because I definitely need to get a new Darth Vader and I need to get a new Grogu and I want to see if I can get a couple more of the Stormtroopers. Have you seen these in the Walmart stores? To tell the truth, I honestly cannot recommend buying them off of Amazon. Not the way that these arrived in my house. Granted, they shipped them in nice boxes, so I don't know if they got damaged on the way or if they were damaged in the warehouse and they just threw them in the box or they got damaged while they were packing them. I don't know. All I know is I'm not happy. So I'm going to have to see if I can find them when they come in the stores again. At least in the stores, I get a very nice package in the store. For example, Paz Vizsla here, everything is just nice. Everything is in good shape. The card is nice. There's one little ding here, but I think that is from probably when the staff hooked it up. But the bubble is in great shape. The card is in great shape. Unlike Amazon. Maybe I'm just going to have to... Well, the thing is, you have to buy some of the stuff from Amazon because that's the only place you find it. You don't find a lot of this stuff in the stores. Like I said, out of the eight figures here, three I found in the stores. That's all. Well, before we end this video, I suppose I better tell you what the answer was to that trivia question. Once again, the question was, what type of dog was the inspiration for Chewbacca, according to George Lucas? And the answer is an Alaskan Malamute, which is a big dog. So an Alaskan Malamute, that is the answer to the trivia question. What do you think of these figures? Let me know in the comments. Are these going to be something that you add to your collection? Like I said, I think they're really nice figures. Cards, not so much when you get them shipped. But I like them. And I am going to replace the ones that are not in good shape. Let me know in the comments section below which figure is your favorite. And if you plan on collecting them or not. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I, I have to, you know, I got to take just a moment here and thank all of you that have gone out and watched my last two videos. In fact, the last video I put up, number 187, within one week, shot up to my second most watched video. Thank you very much. And also, I want to thank those of you that did leave comments. Let's get a little engagement going. That's kind of fun. Well, until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting.